I'm Annabella, I'm 15, and I'm in the Teen Art Council at NSU Museum. I support the museum because I feel like they do a lot of work to share art with the community and to make it accessible for everyone here. I help to plan events and I, I do a lot of learning here. We're, we're here to um, build our knowledge about art and about the way to um, kind of run a museum and we help to um, share art with others. I decided to become a member of the Teen Art Council because it's a great opportunity for me to learn about the industry and to learn a lot about um, art and about the professionals that do this daily. The museum is a place that I come to to learn about art and to talk with people that are like-minded. I think that the museum is kind of a beacon for people to come together to learn from artists, to learn about art, and to just immerse themselves in the world of art. Art is a great tool for us to learn about the world around us and about history especially. It, it helps us to understand the daily lives of the people that came before us and about the possibilities of what's going to come after us. My life is shaped by art every day. I, every single thing that I do, it comes back together and becomes part of my art. It's shaped the decisions that I make, the schools that I want to go to. It's a really big part of my life. Oh, I'd say go for it because the museum is such a great place to learn. They do a really great job of, of teaching. It's for, for all ages, they have great opportunities to learn and the exhibitions here are amazing. I'd say to go for it for sure because the Teen Art Council is a great opportunity to learn about what's going to come in the future of your career if you're interested in art or career um, or museum curation or anything like that because the things that you learn here are going to follow you throughout your whole life. My most memorable moment at the museum was during the Lux at Veritas exhibition when Anna Sularakis came to speak about um, the makeshift um, spaceships that she had made and were displayed as part of the exhibition. The message was beautiful and I love listening to artists speak about their personal experiences and the different influences that went into their art. It was about the um, Native Americans that had had their land taken away from them and were sent to different places that they weren't actually from and um, the actual art were kind of makeshift sculptures of um, rocket ships, but they were designed to fail the way that the Native Americans weren't helped to live lives in these unknown territories. The first time I came to the museum, it was actually when I had just joined the Teen Art Council, and it was a little bit nerve-wracking because of course I've never been here before, but as soon as I met the people here and, and saw the beautiful art that they're displaying and I learned more, I, I'm, I quickly became comfortable here and now I, I love coming during events and seeing what they're teaching to people and all the, you know, they have really amazing work displayed here and I love seeing it. I love learning from the artists themselves. Young people these days are very interested in art. My school has a massive art program and everybody is very passionate about what they do. On social media, the art communities are growing and growing every day. And these kids are learning from each other, are learning from older people on these platforms and just l growing their knowledge about art. I think it's, it's beautiful how people can share what they know and what they've learned online, especially that there are so many young people on there.